guys, so today I have a nail polish haul for you. I want to apologize for my very um, clearly congested voice. Um, it wouldn't be fall time if my allergies weren't starting. So I've got a box of tissues in my lap and I'm ready to go. But I do apologize um, if I don't film today. I'm not going to have time the rest of the week. So it's just going to have to be a congested video. I will try to cut out all of my sniffles and drips and stuff like that, but it's just the way it is. So the first polishes that I have are from Super Chick Nail Lacquer, and she sent me her entire fall 2014 collection, which is uh, Into the Woods is the theme. And I was actually really unfamiliar with the whole Into the Woods thing, so I looked it up, and I know it was a book and a musical, and it's going to be a movie next year, and it's basically just like a story with fairy tale characters. If that sounds like really vague, but I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a very interesting story <laughs> about all these different fairy tale characters like kind of doing their own thing. So that is the theme of the collection. Like I said, I'm not familiar with it at all. She sent me a piece of paper that has descriptions of all the polishes on it, which is really, really like it just wonderful for me because I'm really bad at describing colors and like getting the colors right and things like that. So it's nice to be able to say what she like how she wants them described. So that's what I'm gonna read off of. But first, um she also sent me a top coat, which is the Marvel Top Coat Liquid Macro Quick Dry Ultra Gloss. It's in the really cool like optical illusion-y kind of bottle and it says that it dries in 30 seconds and stays shiny up to two weeks. So I haven't tested this out. I just got um, the box in the mail yesterday, but I am going to be doing a live swatches for the collection, but I wanted to throw that in there also. The, this collection and the top coat are all going to be available on September 1st, so I will link her um, website down below so you guys can check it out. And yes, the top coat is also going to be out September 1st. So the first polish in the collection is Bedtime Nom Noms for Mr. Wolf. And this is described as, I'm going to read it like right off of here, a rich dark chocolate base with hints of silver chrome and iridescent flash to a subtle taupeness and embellished with holographic and brilliant red shimmer effects. And this is gorgeous. This whole collection is like these really amazing deep like vampy fall colors. There's a couple bright colors in there with this just amazing like holographic shimmer flash, um, you know, all these like different, I don't know how to say it, like effects that create so much depth to the polish. These are all like oh, amazing. So that is Bedtime Num Nums for Mr. Wolf and I'll have obviously bottle shots and swatches but I will also be doing a live swatch video on all of these so you guys can see how they apply. So this one is a nice, um, like, purpley violet color. It's a brighter one in the collection. This one is called Fumbling Fairy Tales. So this one is described as a vibrant violet base with strong contrasting golden green chrome and iridescent, subtle holographic and green shimmer effects. Again, amazing. These, um, I opened these last night in artificial lighting and I was looking at them and they were like, glowing like crazy in the artificial lighting. But then when I got them out in the sun, like, they're just absolutely incredible. Um, it reminds me a lot of, like, a better, more depthy, <laughs> more depth to them version of what Zoya came out with for fall this year with the Ignite collection. Now, I don't have any of those, so I don't have them, like, to compare in front of me. But the colors with the shimmer seem similar, but these seem like the flash and the different colors of shimmer is more intense. So it's like one up of the Zoya collection. The next one is a yellow. It's another one of the brighter colors in the collection. This is called Let Your Hair Down and Take a Selfie. And I will again read straight from the paper. This is vibrant golden yellow base with strong fiery copper iridescent, subtle holographic, and brilliant red shimmer effects. It's amazing. It's got the, I mean, like all of these have multiple different colors of shimmer in the description and they really are there from every angle. You see something different. You see the, you know, the yellow base with the red, you see it with the copper. It's just, they're incredible. Like from every angle, they look different, but they're also like really sparkly. Like the shimmer that's in them is not, it's not like a multi-chrome where it's just all one metallic looking polish. It's like larger shimmer particles. So it's like a glitter you know, that flashes different colors. It's, I can't, I don't even know how to describe them. These are like some of the most amazing indie polishes I think I've ever seen. And that's 
I have a lot of indies. It's really saying something. The next one is this um, very almost pearly looking light taupe color. This one is called If the Golden Slipper Fits, and it is described as the purest gold metallic base adorned with strong blue iridescent shimmer and holographic effects. So holographic effect is mentioned a lot in these polishes, and I want to kind of point out the last ones that I got from Super Chick Nail Lacquer had the really strong shimmer to them, and um, I don't know, there's just that different colored flash in the shimmer, and they were really, really gorgeous. These have all of that shimmer and all of that flash, but they also have like exactly that, like a holographic effect to them. They are absolutely amazing. <laughs> so I just wanted to point that out also because these are absolutely gorgeous. The next one is a really dark, um, like reddish purple color. It's called Nightshade Serum to Youth, like actually. This one is described as a lush eggplant purple base with contrasting green iridescent shimmer, vibrant green chrome flash, and holographic effects. So that is this one. It's absolutely amazing. It's purple in one light. It's like the reddish purple in another light, which I think is technically what you would describe as eggplant, so that works. And um, but just all those different shimmer particles mixed in. Amazing. The next one in here is what I think has the most holographic in it. It's the first one that I noticed that like, oh, that has some, some holographicness to it. This is Little Vampy Riding Hood. And this is described as a rich oxblood red base embellished with strong copper iridescent shimmer and holographic effects. I think this probably has the most holographic in it of any of them. Um, all the ones that, like I said, that I read off that say holographic, they have holographic in it, but I feel like it's strongest in this one. So this is probably one of my favorites. The next one is an olive green with like the different colors of iridescent shimmer in there. This one is called You Don't Know Jack About My Beans. And this is a lush artichoke green with strong, contrasting, fiery, iridescent, holographic, and green shimmer effects. And this has one of the strongest shimmer shifts of any of them, and it's like large, chunkier particles, so it looks like glitter rather than just like a frosty shimmer. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Three more. Okay. So this one is called Golden Delicious Curse. This one is more of a metallic kind of finish with instead of like the chunkier shimmer particles that look like glitter, you know, this one is more metallic. This is described as a succulent apple cranberry base, which makes me really thirsty, um, adorned with strong contrasting flashes of green to gold iridescence, chrome, and holographic effects. So there is a little bit of like a fine shimmer glitter that will catch the light and that's more chunky, but for the majority of the polish is um, more of a metallic looking kind of flash. The next one is Witch's Agenda for Uberness. This is a very, very dark color. This is a black base with strong blue iridescent shimmer, holographic effects, and hints of blue chime flash. I wonder if that's a typo and it's supposed to say chrome because all the other ones say chrome. I don't know. But this is, it actually has so much of that blue, like iridescent shimmer to it, it doesn't look like it's in a black base. It looks like just a very deep midnight blue polished. You can see it a little bit more when you put it on the nail that there is a black base there, but in the bottle especially, it just looks like a gorgeous like blue with a purple flash polish, but it's actually in a black base. There's just so much of that shimmer like condensed in there that you don't really see the black. So this last one is called Baker's Hunger for a Bun in the Oven. <laughs> and this one is described as a muted, deep, lush blue-gray with contrasting fiery copper iridescent shimmer and holographic effects. And this, there is one, I believe it's Sansa, in the Zoya Fall collection that looks very similar to this. It's a very deep blue with a beautiful like gold flash to it. This is like three, four, five notches above that. It's a very like deep blue-gray with the gold flash, but the gold flash um, also, depending on the light that it's in, shifts between like a, the green and the copper and the gold. It's just absolutely amazing. These are so beautiful. So again, this is the last one. I will link... Wonder Beauty Products, Super Chick Lacquer, the same thing, um, down below so you guys can check these out. This is, like I said, one of the most amazing indie nail polish collections I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this before. These are so incredibly beautiful. So if you guys pick up any polishes this fall, because I think most of the fall stuff is out now, I highly suggest picking, like taking some picks from this collection because those are absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on. I have three from an indie seller that is new to me. Um, her name is, well, the indie name, company name is Baroness X. 
She sent me a full size and two minis. The first one I'm going to talk about is the full size. This one is actually a more of a prototype. She decided to change the formula and make this look completely different now. So this one is baby unicorn horns and mine is a matte glitter. It's got these really beautiful corally pink triangles and holographic silver triangles and then some different shades of like light blue, light green, and yellow, and light pink. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, she just messaged me the other day to let me know that she decided to change this because she thought it looked too similar to the next one that I'll show you. And so I managed to get a two of a kind, because I guess she made two, um, of this one. So I'm really excited about that. Next one, which stays the same, is uh, Kawaii or Die. And this is also a matte glitter mix. It has this reddish pink, almost like watermelon pink colored glitters. Light blue, light pink, purple. There's some white circles, or stars, and hexes, and yellow, and it's just really pretty, and it, the name kind of fits, because it's very, like, cute and fluffy, and, like, that's what I picture when I think of all these colors together, so, really, really pretty. The next one that she sent me is Venice Beach Violet, and this is from a kind of sun-bleached neon collection that she has, and this is amazing. This is a beautiful, like, light, um... I don't know, pastel, purpley, lavender color. When it gets more specific than just purple, I kind of get lost. Um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This was really easy to apply to, opaque in two coats, and it just looks beautiful. And I really love that everyone's coming out with these light kind of bleached neons, even in the late summer, because you can just, those kind of colors are so perfect to layer indie nail polishes over. And so it's always good to have like a good selection of those. So yeah, really like this one. I will link her Etsy shop down below so you guys can check those out and check out the other like bleached neons and um, other glitters that she has. Next I have a few more polishes from Madame Glam and I want to talk to you guys about these. So if you watched my last haul video I talked about some Madame Glam polishes in a like less than 100% positive light. I wanted to be honest with you guys and a lot of times when I don't give things a fantastic review I don't get any response or I don't get a positive response from the company. And this was the exact opposite. So Elsa from Madame Glam contacted me. Um, some of my biggest complaints with what they were before was that a lot of the formulas were thin. The packaging, the way it was shipped, it was just like glass bottles on glass bottles, which really like freaks me out. And But at the same time, they also had a lot of really great like one coat polishes. So she contacted me and she was, this was like the most professional and like she took my criticism of her company like so incredibly well. Um, she wanted my suggestions on how things could be, you know, how I thought they could be packaged better, and just really appreciated me being honest, and it was really, really cool. So, um, we kind of emailed back and forth and talked a little bit about, you know, the best way to go about kind of fixing some of the negative points that I had touched on in the video, and so she sent me a few more polishes. She wanted me to see how they had changed the packaging, and wanted me to give you guys a chance to, like, update you and let you know that things have changed. So first of all, they came in the same box. Um, this one they taped shut because one of my other boxes came open in the shipping. She just contacted me the other day and said that they had, um, they're getting more like heavy duty, you know, boxes in as well. But what they did here is they put um, paper dividers because before they were shipped just like all sitting in the box like this and then in a bubble mailer and it was just glass on glass. And nothing was broken when I got it, and she said that they haven't had anything reported as shown up broken, but it was just like when you picked up the package before you opened it and you heard the glass rattling together, it just felt like, oh no, something's broken. And so she put in um, little cardboard dividers to go in between the bottles and then actually lined those with bubble wrap also. So they were in the box tighter, so they couldn't slide back and forth, and then um, on top of that, they were, you know, had the bubble wrap in between them. So I really appreciated that and I really am looking forward to seeing what the new boxes look like because she did say that they ordered new boxes. Um, the glass bottles were also kind of thin, but she also told me that they are in the process of getting a different shaped and thicker bottles as well. And I understand that all of that takes time and they're a new company and like nothing's perfect when it first starts out. So I'm just, I'm happy that she took everything I said so well. So she sent me some new polishes and um, also mentioned to me that they are changing the website to put a description of the polish and how it applies under every single polish listed on the website. So how many coats you need, you know, if it's more of a topper, if it's thin, 
uh, which is going to be so great for people that are shopping online. You know, you don't want to get something and be disappointed if the description is right there then you know what you're getting. So she sent me a couple more, um, which honestly I feel like really bad saying that, oh yeah, I took more. I would never have taken more polishes than they were offered if I didn't have like so much to update you guys with to let you know that they're changing a lot in the company and I think it's going to be really good. So the first one is Crazy Waves and this is a really beautiful um, metallic blue micro glitter. You could get this opaque on its own. It would take maybe three or four coats, but it d would definitely work. Um, you could also sponge it, I guess. But otherwise, it's good as a topper. So that one is Crazy Waves. The next one is Petunia, and it is a beautiful deep metallic purple that almost has a gold shimmer to it with holographic silver hex glitters in there. I've um, stuck a Q-tip in here and stirred up those holographic hex glitters a couple times. And if you store it upside down and stir them up, then you can get the hex glitters on the brush uh, within like two nails, but then they start to sink down again. So you can, I mean, you can still get them, but you'll get like two or three versus if you hold it upside down, you get like a nail full of them. So yeah, I think the hex glitters are a little too um, heavy for the base. Uh, you can get them out, but it takes a little bit of work. So that's that one. Next one is It Girl, and this is an orange kind of jelly formula with holographic hexes in there, but they're a lot finer, so um, they don't sink down like the bigger ones in Petunia did. And this one I didn't have any problem getting glitter out of. Didn't have to stir it, um, no big deal. This was kind of thin. This took three coats to cover my nail line because it is a jelly, but uh, I didn't have any issues with the glitter at all either, especially even after it had been sitting up for a long time. So this one, this, like I said, three coats, but you get a lot of glitter on the brush. The next one is Blackberry Delight, and this is a very, very deep kind of reddish purple, more purple than red. This was a beautiful one coat cream, which I noticed in the last batch of polishes that I got from Madame Glam that a lot of the creams were like really perfect one coat creams. So that's again what this one was, and I love these colors for the fall and for on my toes all year round, really. So that's Blackberry Delight. Next one is Coral Flame, and it is a gorgeous like neon coral color. This actually, okay, I went off about like polishes, neon polishes not like how they just have to have a white base, they're not going to be as bright as they can be if they don't have a white base. And I still stand by that. However, um, this one and the next one I'm going to show you are neon polishes that I think are as bright as you can get without needing a white base, and they are completely opaque. So this one is Coral Flame, like I said, it's a bright corally orange color. This took two coats to be opaque, but no white base, it wasn't streaky. Um, it was thick, but um, that made it, I think that's what made it easily opaque in two coats was the thickness. So it was like not super thick, just moderately. So again, this is Coral Flame. And the last one that I have is Mint Cocktail, which is not mint at all. It is a lime green, neon, neon. It's pretty really neon, but not just not quite white base neon, but that's impossible. So this was really, really thick. Um, the brush kind of was like splayed out and I think that was from almost like from the thickness of the polish that was in it But it was almost a one coat completely opaque I did do two just because I had a little bit of bald spot on like one side of each nail But it was really really close to being one coat and it is just as bright on the nail Also, so this is actually really amazing Like I said, it's a little bit thick, but I think if it was thinner then you wouldn't have that almost one coat quality to it So you kind of it's like mm, which one's the worst, you know? But yeah, I really like this a lot. So I will link Madame Glam down below. Like I said, they, um, also let me know that they're in the process of putting descriptions of all the polishes, uh, which they're going to use blogger feedback to really get the descriptions and the coat number of coats and things like that. And they're in the process of adding that. They're changing their bottles to a little bit thicker, higher quality glass. They've changed the way they ship um, so the glass isn't touching. And I'm just I'm really, really happy to see how well they took my criticism and the changes that they're making to kind of better the company. So those are the Madame Glam ones. And the last ones that I have are from Glitter Lambs. I've had these for a very long time and I feel really bad because I haven't filmed the video with them yet. Well, I filmed it twice and I keep deleting the footage. <laughs> but yes, these are from Glitter Lambs. I have five here. Uh, the first one is Baby Twinkle and this is a gorgeous, almost like pearlescent squares and hexes, like smaller ones, with some holographic um, larger glitters right down to like a fine holographic shimmer, and then metallic red, blue, purple, green, orange um, glitters mixed in there as well. It is predominantly that really interesting pink pearly glitter, 
uh, but then there's the rainbow kind of mixed into it. So these are all fine. There's nothing super, super chunky in here. There's like medium sized holographic silver hexes, but there's nothing huge. So that is Baby Twinkle. The next one is Carnival Ride, and this actually looks a lot like Taste of the Rainbow. Um, but this is has a long, a fine white matte glitter with um, matte orange, blue, green, pink, purple, uh, light pink, like hot pink. There's some holographics in there. It looks like holographic silver, maybe orange. Kind of hard to tell. But um, again, this is nothing super, super chunky. It's all like pretty fine. Glitter Lambs polishes are like some of the most glitter dense polishes I've ever seen. Um, you could almost, like just about any one of them, you could almost not even have to use as a topper. Like they're really, really dense. You never have to fish. They're just absolutely packed and I so love that about them. So the next one is Crushed Eyeshadow Palette. This is a white and black, well there's like a fine white matte black uh, blue, pink, two different shades of purple. There are silver metallic circles and some holographic silver glitters in there as well. I see some red and green. And then there's also like a white shredded and what I believe is a silver holographic shredded. There's not a ton of that in there, but it's definitely in there. And it really just looks like if you took an eyeshadow palette and just... So I like this one a lot as well. The next one is Unicorn's Love Cotton Candy. There's a few different shades of pink in here. Um, and then there are, there's a fine like holographic silver shimmer. And then like metallic green, holographic red, or holographic um, silver, metallic red, matte red, matte blue. There's circles like pastel yellow, hexes. And the last one is what I was most excited about. I've been looking at this for a really long time. This is more chunky. Well, Unicorns Love Cotton Candy is more chunky than the other ones, but this is the chunkiest. <laughs> this is Plastic Dollhouse. This has a lot of silver holographic glitter in it. There are silver holographic triangles. Um, there's like a fine shimmer. There's squares and small hexes. There are blue holographic moons, uh, pink hearts. And yeah, everything's larger and chunkier, but it's so sparkly because just about everything in here has a holographic like reflect to it. Absolutely gorgeous. So really, really like this one. Definitely my favorite. I will link glitter lamps down below so you guys can check those out if you are interested. Um, other than that, that wraps up the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later.